Although many people turn to spirit or their soul for comfort, there has always been a more practical viewpoint which expects a higher power to make life better. This is often in the form of answered prayers, but there has historically been a universal concept in every culture that worldly life is improved if a person relies on some supernatural being or power. With the decline of such beliefs in modern times, the whole issue of finding spiritual health has become vague, and many people will never turn to their spirit to improve their everyday life. Let's look deeper into this, and then Deepak will guide us into meditation. Because modern life is supposed to be guided by science and rationality, spirituality has been shoved into a corner. It is considered at most to help people endure suffering, find hope, and experience comfort and peace of mind. Those are valuable things, but they represent a minute relic of a once universal belief that the best life was the spiritual life. All good things were provided by God or higher power, and humans had a direct connection with the higher power if they only turned to it. The clearest explanation of spiritual support comes from the Indian concept of dharma, which is derived from a Sanskrit verb that means to uphold. Dharma expresses the universal belief that there is a right way to live, and if you consciously follow the right way, things will turn out well for you. The Christian version is, seek and you will find, knock on the door and it will be opened. The key to these beliefs is that they can be tested. They are not articles of faith, but the testimony of many centuries in every culture. The modern cynicism that says no good deed goes unpunished didn't exist but just the opposite, that good deeds are rewarded. Life has always brought horrifying disasters, war, violence, and catastrophes of every kind that can test our trust in a benevolent universe. But the issue has never been a struggle between faith and disbelief. Dharma doesn't mean that you can carelessly lead your life and expect the supernatural to be an escape clause. Dharma has always been about consciousness. Your entire life has been organized around your state of awareness. If you are orderly, disciplined, diligent, educated, thoughtful, and attentive, these are qualities of awareness around which you silently shape every day's existence. On the other hand, if you are uncertain, confused, undisciplined, impulsive, and disorganized, you have used your awareness to create these qualities. Clearly, a state of order is preferable to chaos. And this is all that dharma means, preferring order over disorder. I'm not referring to personal habits. Being a neat freak or a slob isn't the point. Orderliness is a property of consciousness. And the closer you get to your source in pure consciousness, the more organizing power is at your disposal. Not by doing anything on the surface of life, but by bringing order into your awareness. Dharma also includes purpose, renewal, creativity, and inner fulfillment, which are qualities that are merged into the organizing power of pure consciousness. In meditation, the experience of inner silence is already more orderly than the experience of the active, restless mind. Invisibly, you draw nearer to your source, and the more you have the experience, the more you will be supported by spirit. Spirit is just another name for pure, infinite, eternal consciousness. But names don't matter. The support of spirit is real. You can test it yourself and discover what it means to live in Dharma on the path to complete inner and outer fulfillment. As we prepare to meditate together, let's take a moment to consider our centering thought. I am supported by the unlimited power of spirit. I am supported by the unlimited power of spirit. 
Now, let's prepare for our meditation. Make yourself comfortable and close your eyes. Begin to be aware of your breath and just breathe slowly and deeply. With each breath, allow yourself to become more deeply relaxed. Now, gently introduce the mantra, Hum. Hum. This mantra means, I embody the power of spiritual transformation through the awakening of consciousness. Through this transformative power of awareness, this mantra helps illuminate what is true and enduring while purifying what is false and transitory. Repeat it silently to yourself. Whom? Whom? With each repetition, feel your body, mind and spirit open into an expanded state of awareness. Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, noises or physical sensations, simply return your attention to silently repeating the mantra. I'll mind the time and you'll hear a soft bell at the beginning and end of the meditation. Hum. Hum. Hum.
It's time to release the mantra. Continue to sit restfully, inhaling and exhaling slowly. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, contemplate the centering thought. I am supported by the unlimited power of spirit. I am supported by the unlimited power of spirit. Namaste.